What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be using an unburdened Sneasler team on the rank ladder that also features Life Orb Shen Pao. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here is actually a little bit on the weirder side. You see Sneasler, you see Indeedee, you see Armors, but what you don't see is Trick Room on this team. Really weird to see Indeedee and Armors without Trick Room, but Armors speed stat is fully invested. So it's actually a pretty fast Armors. We're gonna be using this Pokemon, throwing off some opponents, not going in Trick Room. Looking to grab some wins for you guys. But Sneasler is gonna be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview with Unburden and the Psychic Seeds as its item. If you guys do not know what Unburden does, it's an ability when you lose your item or if you do not have an item, your speed stat goes through the roof. So it's really good pairing up with Ndidi Psychic Surge, but then we can just pop the Psychic Seeds and then have the ability pop from there. This Pokemon has Dire Claw and Close Combat, both for Stab, and then it has Rock Slide with the Rock Terror type, making it do insane amount of damage. Second Pokemon is going to be Ndidi, and this Pokemon is mainly just here for a little bit of support. It's got Psychic Surge with the Rocky Helmet and then Psy Shock, Follow me, helping hand, and protect. In our third slot, we got the armors with weak armor and the focus sash as its item. It's got armor cannon, expanding force, wide guard, and indoor for its final move. We got Chewy Scarf Urshfu in our fourth slot, such a strong Pokemon ever since it's been released into the game. It's got certain strikes, close combat, U turn, and aqua jet. You guys seen this Pokemon plenty of times on the rank ladder. In our fifth slot, we got Life Orb Shen Pao, and for the most part, when you're using Shen Pao, Focus Sash is usually the item, but this one's rocking the Life Orb, and it's probably going to do an insane amount of damage. It's got Ice Shard for first turn priority, Crunch, Icicle Crash, and Protect for its fourth and final move. In our final slot, we are rocking out with Tornadus, with the Sharp Beak as its item, making Bleak Wind Storm do a little bit more damage. It's got Tailwind, it also has Substitute, and Protect for its final move. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Not the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with the Sneasler and Life Orb Shen Pao team. Hopping into our first match for today's video, and right away I see slacking and neutralizing Gas Weezing. Probably the combo that they want to go into. But what I also realize is they have no terrain, which is actually really good for us. We can set terrain with Indeedee as long as neutralizing Gas Weezing is not on the field. So how should we actually play this one? Because they got other strong Pokemon like Iron Hands, like Urshfu, like Iron Bundle, and even Arm Rouge on the squad. Who should I go into here? I could take Speed. I could definitely take Speed, but then we wouldn't have Prankster. But at the same time, you kind of outspeed a lot here. You definitely do. Who should I go into? I could go into you. You're not a bad lead here, Urshfu. You're not a terrible lead here. You're not a bad lead. I don't think you have Fake Out, right, Sneasler? You're not rocking fake out, right? Yeah, you're not. So, this is actually really tough. I'm just gonna go into you, and I'm also gonna go into you. So, I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna go Urshfu. I am gonna go to Anonis. And then in the back end, I might not even bring. Hmm. Hmm. I think I gotta go Shen Pao here. I feel like I have to sneeze too. I'm gonna go Shen Pao and I'm gonna go Armors. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna leave Sneasler and Indeedee in the back end. Definitely gonna be bringing them in the back end, but I just been so stuffy. Hold up, I keep feeling like I have to sneeze. <coughs> there it is. There it is. I was waiting for it for like 30 seconds. I was like, dude, the sneeze is coming. The sneeze is coming. But I've been feeling a little stuffy, a little nasally in the past couple days, but still feeling good enough to actually get up, record. So it's awesome. So if you hear me like sniffling, snuffling, looking to sneeze, that is why. But they're going to end up leading the neutralizing gas combo. So no abilities on the field allowed. So we don't have a prankster. We don't have our unseen fist either, which kind of sucks. But from here, we really could just go into a bleak wind storm, which I'm kind of feeling the best, right? This little bleak wind storm paired up with maybe a close combat into the slacking. Or we could water terror and just start attacking here as well, which I kind of think is going to be my play. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna water terror. I'm gonna look through as much damage as I possibly can onto the Weezing slot. Because I wanna get rid of it and be able to have the ability slate in the game. So we'll see. We'll see what they do. Because they could protect. I mean, Unseen Fist, I don't have. So I can't hit through protects right now while neutralizing gas is on the field. It's such a cool ability. But they're gonna end up terrestrializing as well. Probably the slacking. 
just to kind of dodge like if a close combat was coming in that slot. And that's why I kind of went into certain strikes and end up going into ghost type. So pretty cool for us. We end up just uh, going into certain strikes. Everything working out pretty well for us. Cool. How much damage is this going to do on the Weezing? That's the real question. Weezing's pretty bold. It's going to do probably a little bit more than half. About half. About half and then Bleak Wind Storm could come in here and get some work done. Of course you got the Citrus Berry and I think he might just protect next turn too. Because the whole point of Weezing is to kind of keep it on the field as long as you possibly can. Just so your other Pokemon can thrive like Slack and Elite. But Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out here which is beautiful. Gets off some nice damage and the player off's going to fly into the Urshifu slot. He's also going to double down with Gunk Shot, so it's solid Terror type for us. We really thrive with that. So from here, I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm, and on top of that, I'm just going to go into Surgeon Strikes into the Slacking slot. Because like I said, I believe Weezing is going to protect here. I believe the Weezing is going to protect, and it doesn't. You're a rocking soccer punch. We don't like that. We don't like that. So we end up dying there, but if Bleak Wind Storm lands, we can actually get off some nice damage, take out the Weezing, and really get thriving with the rest of our Pokemon. Beautiful. So Bleak Wind Storm is going to land. It's going to pick up a double kill. The Sharp Beak on the Tornadus. We're loving it. We're loving it. That's awesome. And yeah, this Tornadus is actually hitting really hard. A lot harder than any other Tornadus I've really used. The Sharp Beak definitely helping out. <coughs> so now that we got rid of the Neutralizing Gas, I could just go into Armorage if I want to. I got Focus Sash. And I could just save Shen Pao for late game. And I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Armorage here. I'm going to use the armor. And he's going to go into Iron Hands here. So Iron Hands chilling here. He can go for a nice big fake out. We don't have Terra. They don't have Terra. And Urshfu's also going to come out here from him. So I think from here, we just Bleak Wind Storm, right? And we go for Expanded Force. We're going to... Hmm, what do we attack here? I think we double down Urshfu more so than anything. This is tough. This is actually kind of tough for us. I have wide guard, but it's really not going to do anything. I'm going to double down Urshfu here. He's going to fake out one of our Pokemon. And I wonder who he's going to fake out. I think he's going to fake out Armors. Because a lot of Tornadises do rock the Cobra. We have Sharp Beak instead. Sharp Beak's been working wonders. I like it here. He's going to end up faking out you. Okay. That's fine. I understand. And you're going to search like, so you're just going to KO him. Okay. You're going to KO my Tornadus, which, I mean, I can deal with that. I have Expanded Force, and I still have Focus Dash next turn, which is massive. Which is massive. So, I will still have Focus Dash. Armor is going to get off Expanded Force. How much damage is this going to do? How much damage are you going to do here? Brings me down to one. I knew I brought you in here for a reason. That's big time. So, that's going to trigger Focus Dash. I can now bring out... Can now bring out and what I want to do here is since I have focus ash do I want to don't want to double down into I could read a protect because I could double down into into iron hands here which I might just do so I have sash I have first turn priority moves I'm gonna double down into iron hands here because I don't want to hit this thing hard and then have it go for are oh, you gonna operate me that's fine I can ice shard you next turn I got weak armor here as well. Defense is going to drop, but speed's going to get boosted up. We like that a lot. And Expanded Force is going to come across here. Now, how much damage are you doing, Expanded Force? Decent damage. But my thing is, I did not... I want to try to KO this thing right here. And I come so close. And now he's just going to drain punch me and get back HP. Now you go for Wild Charge. Okay, that works. That actually works perfect. His recoil damage is going to take you out. Awesome. Shen Pao can now Ice Shard. And we're totally thriving. Here. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Good game. Good game. Awesome. Beautiful. So even if you are Sash, Aqua Jet's not going to be able to KO us. And we're going to win this match. Beautiful. So hot start for us in match number one. Absolutely tearing it up. Props to my boy Tornadus doing some big time damage with Sharp Beak. But Ice Shard's going to finish it off. We start off 1-0. Let's go hop to our second match and look to go back to back. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, second match on its way. We start off with a big fat W in match number one. Would love to use Sneasler here in match number two, considering we didn't use it in match number one, and it seems like a good time to use it. They got Grimstraw. 
They got Tatsugiri and Dantozo combo alongside with Storm Drain Gastron. Good thing we have no water Pokemon or even water moves on the team. So I do not really see them bringing Gastron. So I think from here, we're going to lead the Sneasler alongside with the Indeedee. And we might just go for constant follow me's, right? I mean, they're probably, oh, they're probably going to lead the what's it called, which could be annoying to Arcanine. I feel like Intimidate can do wonders. I could lead Armourouge if I want to and maybe save Sneasler for later. So our move speed is actually pretty high. It's fully invested in speed 139. I can get down with that. I can definitely get down with that. The thing is, leading Sneasel is going to be a good play. So I'm going to go Sneasel here. I'm also going to bring Armour in the back end. And last but not least, do I even want Armour? I think we just go Urshifu and Shen Pal. And I, I can't believe I said that, that we have no water moves. We legit have Urshifu on the field. <laughs> so maybe we might not want to bring it. Now we'll bring it. It's Choice Scarf. We have close combat as well. I was just sitting there, I was like, good thing we don't have any water type Pokemon or even water moves. I forgot Urshifu's on the squad. Forgive me, it's okay, it happens. <laughs> I scroll down, I was just like, oh, there's Urshifu. I just contradicted everything I said. But hey, we're still leading Seasonal here. We're kind of hoping Intimidate Arcanine doesn't come out here. And I hope it doesn't. Yeah, it does not. And they're going to go these two. Okay. <coughs> so, potential screens are going to set up here. Which, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I get the Psychic Seeds cooking. Um, I could just go for Psy Shock and maybe just harass slides and send rock slides. That is an option. That is an option for us. Definitely is an option. But two support Pokemon making it a little weird for me. Like, I don't really know what's going on. This could just be like a fake out, uh, more of an attack and Grimstraw next to Amoongus. But I feel like it screams. Maybe he wants to put me to sleep. But from here, I'm just going to go for Dire Call turn one. And I'm just going to attack. I'm just gonna attack. I mean, no, no need to go for anything support. I feel as I think just attacking is gonna be cool. We got Dire Claw going into Grimstarl, and then we got Psy Shock going into Amoongus. I'm cool with that. So we end up setting up a Reflect. I think Spore might come out here. Dire Claw is gonna come across and do half damage. Any status condition? Oh, a nice little Para. We like a nice little Para. So we get off a big time Paralyze. Psy Shock is gonna go after the Amoongus. Do some nice damage, and are you putting me to sleep? Is that is that your play? Is that your play, little mushroom guy? Is that, is that your play? You're just gonna wave the mushroom in the air, put me to sleep? Hate that little thing. I hate that thing. I only like it when I'm using it. So he ends up putting me to sleep. Um, I guess that's cool. I guess it's alright. Um, we're gonna stick with. Why just protect this turn? To be honest. I don't, I don't see him swapping, right? I don't really see him swapping. I see him maybe trying to put me to sleep here. So, I mean, protecting and wasting out these sleep turns and the reflect turns. Probably more beneficial to us than anything. But uh, he ends up going for parting shot. We're blocked by the terrain. I think it was going after Sneasel anyway, so that's fine. And he's going to end up trying to spore me as well. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's fine. So I could take out Grimstraw. I'm really not worried about Grimstraw. I think I just want to do as much damage as I can onto Amoongus here. So I'm just going to go for Psy Shock. I'm going to go for Dire Claw. Hopefully, indeed, he can wake up here. Because at this point, we could pick up the KO onto Amoongus and not be put to sleep again. Because <laughs> we know what he's doing. We know he wants to put my uh, Sneasel to sleep. Which is so annoying. Like, put one Pokemon to sleep, fine. Both my Pokemon, that ain't right. That ain't cool. So Light Screen now gets set up. I see you, Grimstar. I'll set up the light screen. Dire Claw is going to pop the rear. Does some nice damage. Any status conditions? No. And indeed, he is still slumped. Slumped. And you're going to put my Sneasel to sleep. Lovely. Just, just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. If you like hopping on the rank ladder and doing this? Is, is this how some people play? Come on now. Knock it off with the sleeps. So I'll just do the same thing. I mean, we're just wasting out sleep turns. I think he wants to try to swap now. Would be his play, right? Which screens up. And he goes for parting shot again, which makes no sense to me. Did you already forget that the, ter the terrain blocked the first one? <laughs> Indeed, he's going to wake up here, which is huge. Side shock's going to come through here. It's not going to be able to KO with light screen, I don't think. And it almost does. Come on, man. Wish that would have KO'd. And then he just palm puffs into Indeed and actually does a nice chunk of damage. So from here, we can finally finish off Amoongus, which is lovely. And just waste out some turns. I hope they go for parting shot again. <laughs> I think that would be so funny if they go for three times. Like, why isn't this working? 
We have terrain up. Read, read when you use a move. I get the first time. Sometimes you make mistakes. I do it all the time. But when you do it twice, it's all new. It's all new at that point. <laughs> they end up hard swapping the movies. They're going to go into Tatsugiri. And Caesar's going to wake up with just gorgeous. Die Claw should be able to KO. It does. Get this thing on out my face. Get it on out my face. They have a Moongus in the back end. Got some Regenerator HP, so it's probably around half. And if I had to guess, Don Dozo is the final Pokemon, right? Screens with Don Dozo behind it. We don't like that. We, we don't like that. We don't like screens with Don Dozo. Because that is going to be annoying if it is him. Yeah, screens with Don Dozo. This is not... I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I simply don't like this. So I do a follow me. I think I'm just gonna follow me with the with the Indeedy and then just start throwing dire calls, right? Looking to maybe get a nice little status condition. That could be solid for us. We do have Rocky Helmet on Indeedy, so Rocky Helmet can do some damage. So I'm just gonna spam Dire Call, maybe hope to get like a poison or something, right? I could put him to sleep potentially. That'd be hilarious. Then follow me. Just try to get some Rocky Helmet damage off. And uh go from there. <laughs> so Dante's gonna end up Tarasalize, and then what type you got? Poison, of course you're rocking the poison typing. Just a perfect typing to counter my sneezing. And I'm gonna end up popping a nice little follow me. The follow me comes out here. I wonder what moves you use. Probably like wave crash. Dying Claws can come out here, do like 0.5 damage. And he's popping EQs. He's popping EQs. We don't like that one bit. EQ flying out here. Oh, KOing me. KOing me. Alright, um. Hmm. EQ is scary, especially with the Pokemon that I have. I have a Poison Terror type, which does not work well at all. Um, Close Combat might be my best bet. Probably more so Water Terror or the Crits. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Water Terror here. Helping Hand, Water Terror, and just try to do as much damage as I can. Yeah, 100%. 100%. We will get the most value out of that. So let's give that a try. I knew the Dondozo would be a problem. It's always so strong. Like, Dondozo was just... He's him. He's him. Especially, like, in the first season when this game was released. Like, nobody really knew how to counter him at first. So, he was just thriving in the rank ladder. But we're going to end up terrestrializing the Urshfu. Trying to get off as much damage as we can. Considering we will crit here. And then give him the helping hand boost as well. I wonder how much damage we are getting. I really am curious. Because we... Chances are he's probably popping another EQ. So let's see. Let's see. And then we have Shen Pao next one that we can use. And that's actually, that's some good damage. We like that damage. We should be thriving out here. Oh, yes. That's some beautiful damage. Almost KO. Almost KO. -ing. So we like that a lot. So chances are an EQ is popping out here again. And it is. And Urshfu should be able to eat that up. So that puts us in a decent spot here. That actually puts us in a decent spot. That actually puts us in a decent spot because what's going to happen here is we're going to be able to KO the Don Dozo right here with Surge of Strikes. And then the Tatsugiri is going to pop out and then I'm just going to throw an, uh, an Icicle Crash into that. That's going to work perfectly because Urshfu is going to be faster than my Shen Pal because it is Choice Scarf. And we'll just throw it like that. So we should probably have a double kill here, right? We should probably have a double kill, which would be massive. That would just give us the match. Is then it be a 2v1 up against a Moongus? No problem for Shen Power Urshfu. So as long as this ISO crash lands, we pretty much win the match. And we go 2 0. So, Shen Pao, do your work. Do your thing. Do your thing. You missed it. Oh my lord. <laughs> I was in there as long as this hits. And it misses. Just what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. I still think we're fine, but kind of annoying that we missed that. In take away the guaranteed victory but uh you don't have i'm choosing the certain strikes and i guess i'll just double down to you i'm gonna ice shard because ice shard should be able to ko amungus reflect it's gone and we'll go from there if i lose this match this monitor's gonna be gripped up just rip the monitor off my wall unit <laughs> the ice shard's gonna come cooking out here should ko 
yeah, it KOs some Moogus all day. And I kind of like Rock and Ice Shard on Shen Pao. It's stab, you have the boost from the ability. I got Life Orb on this thing, so it's always doing a ridiculous amount of damage. But Surge Strikes now come down here, and this thing like four times resists this, so as long as as long as Shen Pao can eat up a shot, we pretty much win this game. We'll see. If you go for like a Draco Meteor here, I could see that. And that might be able to take out my Shen Pao. You do go for a drink. Yo, don't KO me. Your special tags drop, but... But I don't do a lot of damage to this thing. I really don't. That's so funny. I really don't do a lot of damage to this thing. Hopefully two two sets of certain strikes and KO. You are minus two on special effect or special attack. So I'm kind of sitting here hoping that... Uh, that two certain strikes and KO. I think it should be able to. It's looking like it should be able to. It's close. That's close. That's close, but I'm hoping they don't get a crit here. Going for another Draco Meteor. Of course you're laying Draco Meteors. I should be able to eat up another Draco Meteor. Now that you're minus four. So, search is trying coming out here again. Hopefully this one can just wrap it up and we don't even have to deal with it. But, but just my odds, right? Just my luck in this game. Missing that ISO crash and making life hard for me. But certain strikes comes out here. Can it finish off this thing? Oh, I don't think it can. It might go down like one HP. Yo, yo, please don't. Please. Okay, they missed the Draco Meteor. Phew! I don't think it was it was KO on me, considering they were now minus four. But I like the miss. Battle was canceled. 2-0. Final match on its way. We're sitting 2-0. Would love to be 3-0, especially going up against this Klefki team right here. Klefki, I don't know why I get made fun of by my boys a lot, but Klefki is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love this little Jingly Keys Pokemon. He's just sick, awesome support, can set up screens with Light Clay, and that's probably why they're bringing it. They also have Garchomp, Chiyu, Ogre Pond, Iron Bundle who pairs up with you very, very well, and Tornadas. I'm gonna go in with Tornadas of my own just so we can get some speed going. Like I said, they might wanna go into Klefki and set up screens. It does have Prankster and all that good stuff, so maybe I just wanna go in Didi and Sneasler again. I actually kinda like that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna bring Tornadas in the back end and then pair it up with either Shen Pao or Urshifu. I'm kinda leaning towards Shen Pao. First turn priority. It's got some nice dark moves as well. I'm about it. I'm definitely about it. I'm definitely about it. But hey, we're 2 0. We almost lost that last match, which I would have been so upset because I was sitting there. I was just like, as long as this ISO crash lands, we win this game, no problem. And then it misses and it makes life a little hard for us. We end up ice sharding down the Amoongus, which maybe I should have just attacked the Tatsu Giri with the Shen Pao and then Surgeon Strikes the Amoongus because the Surgeon Strikes probably would have KO'd the Amoongus looking back at it now. But hey, everything worked out perfectly. We're 2 0. But they end up going Jingly Keys alongside with Chiyu. So Jingly Keys is here. The chances are Jingly Keys is going to pop like, I don't even know. What are you going to pop? Probably Reflect, right? Reflect the Light Stream. But I think now I'm just going to Terrasalize my Sneasel right here. Get the Rock Terra Boost and just start spamming Rock Slides. Helping Hand Rock Slides? Yes. Yes, because you're probably going for like a Heat Wave or something. So I think just Helping Hand Rock Slides is going to be your best friend. I know it's not very effective on the Klefki, but... If we could just target down this left slot, Klefki's going to be able to do whatever it wants regardless because it has Prankster. There's really no point of even KOing it, to be honest with you guys. But usually when I see Pokemon like this, I kind of just like to target down the left slot. Just leave that Pokemon on the field because usually a Pokemon like Klefki or like Grimmsnarl really thrives after they die or after they get off their screens because that's what they want to do. They want to get out their screens and then get in their Pokemon as soon as possible to thrive behind those screens. So I don't mind leaving just Klefki on the field. It's not going to do too much, especially with Psychic Terrain up here. All it can really do is set up screens. It can't Thunder Wave me because of the terrain. I like it. I like it. So I'm just going to Terra here. Going to Helping Hand Rock Slide. And we're going to hope Shiyu doesn't Terrasalize either. And it is. Lovely. Might just go into Ghost type in there. Knowing we're a fighting type. Which I don't mind you going into Ghost typing. Yeah, that's fine. The Slacking did the same thing in uh, Master 1, so... We're fine with that. We're fine with that. So, Helping Hand's gonna come out here. Klefki, are you dropping a Reflect? You are indeed. 
good old jingly keys. Look at him just jingle around. Rockside's gonna come out here, and who's dodging it? Cut the dodge. Okay, cool. So at least we landed on Chi. We have a flinch chance here. We will get off some decent damage here as well. And we get the flinch. Lovely, lovely. Big time flinch for us. Big time flinch. So from here, I'm actually just going to double down into Chi at this point. Huffy's probably gonna set up a light tree. Which I mean, I don't mind. Or it might just swap this turn. Like I said, second turn really does is dirty. It sets up the light screen. No big deal. No big deal. Can we get another flinch? That'd be awesome. Rockslide comes out here without the helping hand boost and still doing a nice chunk of damage. She flinches again. Oh my lord. Thank you, Poke Gods. That is just massive. So we end up KOing Chiyu and wasting her terror. I'm sorry for my for the uh for the flinches. If my opponent is watching this video, yo, I apologize, because I'd be I'd be ticked off at that point. Double flinches, that's brutal. That is brutal. I feel bad. I do feel bad. No value out of the Chiyu they get. And they lose their terror. That's fine. Iron Bundles can come out here, and I think I just follow me the shots and just keep spamming rocks on, right? Probably my best bet. Yeah, because I really don't want a Hydra Pump going into the Sneezer slot. No, sir. No, please. Do I have Rock Slide? Or do I close combat? I think I close combat. Because to be honest, if I can KO this Iron Bundle, if I can just get rid of the Iron Bundle, that would pretty much set us up for victory here. Yeah, I'm gonna pop close combat. Looking to get down and dirty with this thing. Close combat right to the chin. And he protects. But I, w I really don't know what Cuffy's gonna do. Foul play? You might have foul play. Could be an option for you. Could definitely be an option for you. Thunderwave, you can't do that. Yo, our opponents are getting psyched out by the turning today. They're getting. The terrain has been awesome today. <laughs> it is just a counter them. So the terrain's working wonders here. We're gonna do the same thing. Same exact thing, no problem. Same exact thing, I don't even have to think about it. And you withdraw, I should've thought about it. <laughs> I should've thought about it. <laughs> Tornadus comes out here, okay. The Tornadus comes out here, I don't really see Klepke doing that much, right? I wish I would've dropped the rocks out there, that would've been sweet. The close comet's gonna fly here. Do about negative five. And we drop the fences. Bad play by me. Okay, you're rocking Dazzling Gleam. I was gonna say, Klefki can't really do anything, but he's got Dazzling Gleam. Uh, from here, you can really only hit with Leak Wind Storm, so. I think we just go Helping Hand here. Right, because if we go Follow Me and he just ends up attacking with Leak Wind Storm, it's just a waste of a turn when they have double hitting moves. Yeah, especially with Klefki having Dazzling Gleam, there's just, there's just no point in going to follow me here. So I'll pop the Helping Hand, I'll get the boost. He's gonna go for the Taunt. You can't do that! You cannot do that! What is up with the people today? Rockslide's gonna miss the Klefki. I don't mind it missing the Klefki, as long as it hits the Tornadus, which it's doing. It's awesome. And I don't, I don't get what's going on. We are on the rank ladder, we're in the Master Tier. And just a lot, like two of our opponents have just been getting messed up by this terrain. But hey, I'm just gonna drop another rock slide, another helping hand, and we'll go from there. <laughs> there we go, get the one point, I think it's 1.5 times boost, and now they finally get the thunder waves off, and the terrain is gone. Did they thunder wave me? I don't think Tornadus can KO me at all. And I'm paralyzed, I can't move? What you mean? And they get a free turn. Bleak Wind Storm's gonna come out here, and someone's dodging this. It is going to be the Sneasel dodging that. And I mean, that's fine. We're just gonna try to do the same thing here. I don't think they can KO my Sneasel, to be honest with you guys. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pop the Rock Slide, Helping Hand again. And all they have in the back end is a full HP Iron Bundle. 
We have Tornage in the back end, which doesn't pair up too well against that. We also have Shen Pao. Which I don't mind Shen Pao. We got some Crunch. We got Ice Sharp first in priority if need be. But now we're still at speed, which is awesome. But now we take out the Tornado. Klefki's chilling here. It still have screens up, which is kind of annoying. Wait, Klefki's gonna flinch. That's massive. <laughs> Another flinch from the rock slides. Lovely. Lovely. It's awesome. Alright. Iron Bottle comes out here. Still at the right. Like, this Pokemon's prime. This Pokemon's still a problem. I think we just go for follow me here. And even if it protects, it protects. I don't care that much. And we just try to land another close combat. Yeah, it's gonna protect. I mean, no big deal, right? No big deal, because Dazzling Gleam from Clefki is really not doing much here. It's really not doing much. So at this point, we're just gonna try to do the same thing. Doesn't mean he's gonna chip us up, but that's about it. Reflect is gone. He's gonna have to set up another one. So, as long as Icy Wind can't KO us, which I don't think it can, I'd be upset if it actually KOs my Caesar. We should be fine with just gonna follow me close combat. If Icy Wind KOs, then they have a hot shot at winning this match behind Iron Bundles and Screens. Ooh, that could be that could be rough. That could definitely be rough if I see Icy Wind KOs us, which they might go for. It. So what I think they would do is set up the reflect, and then yeah, try to maybe Icy Wind or maybe just go for a Hydro Pump, which I'm hoping they're doing. Yeah, there's the Hydro Pump. Beautiful. And Cluffy didn't even go for Screen, so that's gonna leave Iron Bundle pretty much to die here, right? No. No! 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 I was paralyzed! No! The one turn! That one turn just decided the game. They might have won this match now. They might have won this match now. But hey, dude, I can't really complain. We flinched in plenty of times with rock slides. But still, still my perfect record. I think I think we'd lose this one. I really do. I really do because now we can just freeze dry here. Should I sub up? Will substitute get pranked? I believe it would. I'm gonna sub up here. And I'm just gonna go for a crunch. No way! I got paralyzed there. No way. I'm gonna substitute here. I am gonna substitute here. Because I think he's gonna go for like a free try into my Tornadus, which would just KO us, right? That would just absolutely rip into us. If I could set up a sub and just waste out a turn here and just get off some damage with Crunch, could be good. So I'm gonna set up the sub. A little bit of sub action. Cluffy, you setting up screens again? Yeah, there's a nice lovely reflect coming out for you. We'll see what Iron Bundle wants to do. We're actually outspeed Iron Bundle, which is huge. And we do half damage. And we do half damage. Guess we're going for a Hydro Pump. Which we should soak. On 5 HP. That's massive. Now we can just spam Bleak Wind Storm. And to be honest, I think... I think Iron Bundle protects. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Iron Bundle's going to protect. I know that for a fact. You've seen my Shen Pao outspeed. He is going to protect that thing all day. And try to KO with his Klefki. There's no way he doesn't protect. I I'm making the read. I made the read already. Yep, there it is. Okay. So we make the read of that thing protecting pretty big. How much damage can we get off with this Ice Super Crash? Not bad. We have a Flint Chance there. And then we have Bleak Wind Storm coming in here. And that kind of sucks because... Because... The Life Orb KOs us. But I still have Substitute, and I think Dazzle Gleam will not take off the sub. I don't think Dazzle Gleam can take off the sub. I really hope it doesn't, right? Klefki flinches too. Big turn. Big turn for us. At this point, we're just going to spam Bleak Wind Storm and try to win this game. Yo, if I just landed that close to combat, we would have been thriving here. We would have been thriving. 
the light screen comes out, you're smart play from our opponent. And we're hoping this Bleak Windstorm could just KO the bundle, right? One each. Really? Really? Free try is going to take off the sub all day. So all I need to do here is just land one more Bleak Windstorm on both Pokemon. And I have an odd feeling we're going to miss the Iron Bundle. And he's going to be able to KO us here. Right? Odd feeling. I don't know why. I think we're going to miss the Iron Bundle. And he's going to freeze strike KOs. Odd feeling right here. This game's just been making my wins hard today. Don't. Don't tell me I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Yo. Actually, he outspeeds me now. That's going to be game. That's a smart play. That's a smart play. That's game. Yep. Smart play by our opponent there. Wow. Wow, we lose that match. That's so tough. RG did some work onto us. It also did work onto our opponent, but hey, one HP bandit on the uh, on the iron bundle gives him the win, and we go two and one. Nice solid recording for you guys. Went two and one. Wish we could have brought you guys that 3 0 record, but you know, RNG had other plans for us. Sneasler was absolutely amazing, pairing up with the Indeedee, and then Lightform Shen Pao obviously didn't work, but some Pokemon that actually really surprised me was the Sharp Beak Tornadus. I actually really, really liked it. Did some big time damage with Bleak Wind Storm, and at the same time was crazy strong with its Tailwind and Substitute support moves. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.